against Thomas O'Neill and the pro and ball lads. I took up, I probably took up the game of golf when I was 14 and uh, out in Ratsala. And from there, I ended up being the, the gardener to being a greenkeeper to end up being a, an assistant pro. And I left there in 2010 and went to, took up a job in Botanlass, where I am to now, and uh, really enjoy it. I, I love the, the buzz of, of, of seeing people improve, if it's a beginner just taking up the game and just seeing them hitting it from, if they couldn't hit it, to hitting it 50, 60 yards, to seeing lower handicappers achieve their goals. It's, the buzz you get out of seeing people improve is, is a great feeling. A novice, a beginner, you, you, the, a beginner loves to see the ball going as far as they can and if they can improve their distance, they get a great satisfaction out and they hit the ball consistently, they get confidence and if they get confidence, they're going to keep playing. The one that everyone loves to say is keep your head down and it's probably the worst idea in the long game, keeping your head down because they, they can't turn their body, their, their head is buried in their chest. It's, it's, or what every old person loves to tell a younger person, keep your head down, or every husband loves to tell their wife, so it's probably the worst thing to tell anyone. I charge um, 30 for a half an hour and 50 for an hour, and in that I get to use camera and video, and I do a few group lessons for adults on different evenings, and I charge 15 euros for those. I teach, I teach mainly Monday, Monday to Saturday, sometimes I might take a day off during the week depending on what's on, or, but I normally don't work Sundays. Most golfers play golf in their club competitions on Sundays, so it's mainly done during the week. Yeah, I've got a, I've got a mobile number where they can get at the club or they, they didn't get in contact with me. I haven't got a website yet or anything, but in the process. Yeah, teach people, beginners, ladies, juvenile men, anyone. Um, the, the younger they are, the better they're going to get. And I t teach ladies and and good men as well. I'd say the younger the better. Um, definitely taking it up at five is, is a great age. Five is probably a great age. Like, I think Tiger was on a golf show when he was two or three hitting a shot. So Probably in the, I've been working in there the last three years and we, we seen, it seems to be a few of them coming through. We've got a, an under 15 team who are, are fairly improved a good bit. We have an under 18 team. We've got a girls under 19 team this year for the first year ever and we've got a We've got a load of young juniors coming through and we've got a beginner's class on a Saturday as well. So the future looks good. One of our juveniles was on a winning team there for a Carlo school that won a Leinster title there the other day, Mark Doog. And a few others are coming through. Two girls were on a, a mixed team that won last year as well. So I love teaching it because it's the, it's the seeing people improve and it, you know it, there's a great satisfaction out of seeing people win that you coach. And, it's a great game. It's uh, it's 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 very very difficult, and you can have good days and bad days. But it's it's a great game. Yeah, you, de you can get fresh air. You get to meet people. Um, it's it's a sport. It's active. You know, you can people are people want to lose weight. It's a great way. It's a great way to exercise, and uh, it's a great way to get out of the house for a while as well. I think the most difficult thing about Botanas is the greens. The greens are very, very undulating, a lot of them, and it's very tricky, so it adds to the, it adds to the toughness of the golf. And I think definitely up in the new nine, it's very tight from tee to green, so you have to be very precise.